culture. But um, a 28-year walk with indigenous elders and all of the ceremonies, the sweat lodges, the medicine ceremonies, vision quests, sun dance, spirit dance. And what I've learned in all that time truly is the power of prayer. And so prayer is not, in my mind, my heart, prayer is not something that's religious. A lot of people can get either turned off when they hear the word prayer. And it is simply your intention and your energy being declared outwards, going out to spirit, but we are spirit. And so we're also declaring that to ourselves. Prayer is like a bridge between the unseen, what we're feeling inside, and it's, so it's the visible and then the made visible. With prayer in ceremony especially, it always opens up any ceremony, any medicine ceremony, any healing cell. It sets an intention of healing. It is also used to sh share a gratitude. We use prayers as well when we are needing some clarity or vision in our lives. And so um, part of what I've learned on this path, especially working with the medicines, and especially uh, in healing sessions that I do with people, and I work a lot right now with the liquid tobacco medicine, and I've seen miracles because what has happened is I realized over time that we can give as much medicine to people as we can. We could doctor, which means to pull things off and literally take things away, reach a line, but if someone doesn't actually believe that they can heal, if someone feels um, it's not the right time to heal, or if someone feels, oh, I feel so great, I hope it doesn't go back to what it was before, if they don't truly believe in the power of themselves as their own greatest healer, then there is nothing we can do, truly. And so, in time with my work in ceremony, and then also with the tobacco medicine, and in Lodge, the prayer and intention that each person, person is exactly everything that they need. And so, one of the shares or the techniques or the I really want to honor is a practice of gratitude and forgiveness. And it's a practice that is an Andean practice from one of my elders, Don Victor Estrada, in Peru. And I'm going to share this with you as a, as a tool that you can work with. Um, at any moment in time when, when you're in need of some support, first turn to yourself. That is one of my biggest recommendations. If you look to someone else to heal you, and I'd like to say we actually don't help, we help heal others heal themselves. Because if you give away your energy and your power to someone else, whether it's a medicine person or a medicine, or a path, or a guru, then you've disempowered yourself. And truly, you are your greatest healer, you are your greatest doctor, you are your greatest medicine. And so, in this practice that I want to share with you, if um, part of life is not all rainbows and butterflies, as probably all of you know, and there is moments in times where we have suffered, where we may have had an experience, an accident, an illness, or injury, you may have had discordant or destructive relationships in your life, starting with your mother, your father, if you have siblings, relationships, love relationships, uh, trauma that comes in intrauterine, trauma that comes in from a past life, and trauma that comes in from the ancestral lineage. So I usually do a talk that's about two hours that covers all of it, and then we work with the liquid tobacco medicine. But here today, I only have about this point, 15 minutes left. So I'm gonna offer you a forgiveness and gratitude prayer that you can work with. I've seen miracles with this practice. And so if in your life you have someone or something, some experience that you've had where you were left with any pain, suffering, anger, shame, resentment, guilt, grief, then in our lives as humans, we get to experience a beautiful spectrum of emotions from those I just mentioned all the way up to a higher vibration of joy, happiness, love, gratitude, forgiveness. Everything on this planet is vibration. 
And so in the higher vibrations, beautiful, joy, happiness, gratitude, love, laughter, but in the lower, denser ones that I mentioned before, they have a slow, dense energy that if you sit in there too long, will get stuck in your physical body because it's all energy on this planet. And so in the lower, denser emotions, if you sit too long, it, they can cause an unease in your physical body, mental, spiritual, and uh, ancestral bodies. Unease, dis-ease, and if it stays too long, the dis-ease eventually can become disease. And so Chinese medicine, Ayurvedic medicine, indigenous medicines will tell you that the origins of most trauma are emotional, energetic, spiritual, or ancestral genetic. And so in knowing this, then what you want to do is do that self-examination, self-mirror, and look at what kind of patterns you're bringing through. And if you're carrying or hanging on to some anger, fear, resentment from your childhood, from your parents, from your lineage, then it's like a destructive energy from the past that when you keep it alive, becomes self-destructive, and that's where you can heal. You can't change the past, no matter what you do. But you have a choice about what you're keeping alive inside of you right here, right now. So, forgiveness and gratitude are a high frequency vibration that will help transform something that you've been hanging on to that is not serving your highest purpose in life. Sometimes the person or incident may have already passed away. Sometimes the other person doesn't even remember what they said or did. And who is suffering in this moment? It is us who is dealing with an anger towards, a sadness for, a resentment because. And so in this practice of the three levels of forgiveness, the three levels are asking for forgiveness, offering forgiveness, and the third level is when we forgive ourselves. And then like the flip side of a coin, the other side is a gratitude. So we're going to do this practice so you have an idea of how to do this and then work with it all the time, anytime. And so right now what I'm going to ask you to do is to feel the first thing that's going to come. We're going to start the practice with, and you're just also going to do this by yourself. You don't have to say it out loud. So you're just imagining, you, we're going to all close our eyes right now. Let's take a breath, breathe in through the mouth, in through the nose, and then fill up the belly, out through the mouth with sound. Uh -huh. Beautiful. So in this practice, the asking for forgiveness, a general prayer is going to be, I ask for forgiveness if I ever caused anyone else any pain or suffering in any way, whether I did that consciously or unconsciously, directly, indirectly, in the visible or invisible world of macro, microcosmos, I ask for forgiveness. I know I asked you to close your eyes, but you actually don't have to do that yet, sorry. <laughs> the second level is offering, and the general prayer would be, I offer forgiveness to someone or something else if they ever caused me any pain or suffering, or feel that they may have caused me any pain or suffering, whether they did that consciously or unconsciously, directly or indirectly, like behind someone's back, in the visible, invisible world, macro, micro, cosmos, I offer that forgiveness to them. The third level is when you forgive yourself. I forgive myself if I ever caused myself any pain or suffering in any way. Whether I did that consciously or unconsciously, directly, indirectly, in the visible or invisible world, in the macro, microcosmos, I forgive myself. Now, most of us, that's the general prayer. Most of us have something or someone, I'm going to guess, I don't think I even have to ask for hands to go up of some form of discordant or destructive energy, anger, fear, sadness, grief, resentment, shame, guilt, depression, about something. Happened in the past, can't change it. So in the practice we're gonna do together right now, you're gonna come up with the first thing that comes to mind. Don't search too long for this. Just come with the first one, because you can practice this as much and as long as you want. So now I'm gonna ask you to close your eyes, and take another breath, breathe in through the nose, fill up your belly out through an open mouth with sound. Ah. And so in this moment, you are going to, I ask for forgiveness from, and it doesn't have to be a person, it could also be the earth, it could be anything, the first thing that comes to mind, and then you are going to word it in your own words. 
Take your time. I'm going to give you about a minute with this. And so I ask for forgiveness from, and then start your prayer. And remember to breathe and be comfortable in your body, relaxed. About 15 more seconds on your prayer. And when you feel done, take a breath in through the nose, fill up your belly, and out through the mouth with sound. Ah, beautiful. For those who are just finishing up. So now, the second level is forgiveness when we offer. So I offer forgiveness to so-and-so or to this person or incident if they if you feel they caused you so you're going to word it in your own words so you're closing your eyes again take a breath and then i offer forgiveness too and then with your own words Make sure your jaws moves, make sure you're breathing. Another 15 seconds. And when you're finished, take another breath in through the nose, out through the mouth with sound. Ah, beautiful. The third level of forgiveness is when we forgive ourselves. And so, I forgive myself for, and then you word it as you're wording. So once again, make sure your body's loose and breathing. I forgive myself because, and he'll continue. Make sure you're feeling whatever feelings come up. About 10 more seconds. And then taking a breath at the end of your prayer. Ah, beautiful. And just see how you feel inside. Those were ones that you didn't even know you had to come here with a prayer. Those are the first ones that come in. And now on the flip side, Whatever gratitude you want to make right now, just any gratitude that comes up, it doesn't have to be related to the prayers you just made, just the first one that comes in, I am grateful for, and then whichever gratitude comes through for you. This one's going to be a little shorter. Take a breath when you feel done. Just check in how you're feeling. So with this practice, this is something you can do anytime, all the time. Find a place to sit. You can do it even if you're stuck in traffic. You can do it with someone especially that you may have some issues with or a memory of. An emotion should only last 90 seconds. So when we hang on to an anger to someone, a sadness for, a resentment of, 90 seconds for emotion. It means our brain is keeping it alive. And so that's where you have the opportunity to create your own reality and choose what you're gonna keep alive in your life. And, um, and so with this practice, it's like transforming and transmuting something that happened in the past that has caused you some form of pain or suffering with a higher vibration, it helps to transform the lower. Everything on this planet is a scientific sprinkle now. Everything on this planet is energy. Higher vibration will automatically pull up and transform the lower, denser energies. So if you're sitting, use this practice. 
You can do the same person or the same thing over and over, days, weeks, long, until you feel a shift inside. You can see what kind of emotions come up, work with that. Um, and then if, you know, after, and I know people who practice this alone, they're not even telling the other person that they're practicing it, and the relationship will shift. And I've seen people tell me that all of a sudden, this person that they haven't talked to in two years contacts them. It's just energy going out to the universe. This is a tool that you have with you all the time. And I want to just really share with you that we are in a moment in time of a great turning. And how humans have been living on this planet, I want to remind you we were born for these times. We were all born for these times of great change. And so I'm asking all of you, do your personal healing. This is the moment where young souls are coming in and they know what they're getting into. We just have to hold this space for them. And we have come to a moment on this planet where our earth, our waters, the other animals are trying to wake us up to tell us we are off balance. And so asking you to do your share, do your part. Do your own healing, but don't get stuck looking at your belly button. We need everyone out there. There are people sacrificing their lives to wake up this planet. Gratitude to the water protectors and the air protectors and the forest guardians and the indigenous peoples who still know how to live in harmony and balance. And so when we do our share and our part, then no one else has to carry too heavy a load. And there are species dying, trying to wake us up right now. And so in this moment, we are stronger when we work together. We become like a wave that is washing over this planet of a new humanity, a better humanity, a more loving humanity. And I have faith in humanity. And if the medicines, when used in the right way, with respect for the spirit of the plant, with the honoring of the original peoples who have carried these through, who lost their lives and their cultures to bring these medicines forward, if there's a moment right now where humanity, and it's a miracle what's happening, but we still need to remember to honor the original peoples, or else it's just the further colonization of what has already happened here over the last 500 years. So ask the questions when you sit with the medicines. Nuka prayer, honor the spirit of the medicine. And see how you can show up in reciprocity. Gratitude, there is no other life. Colonies on Mars and the moon, there's no air on the moon. There's no air on Mars. There's no water, there's no food. We were put on this planet for a reason. Or we wouldn't be here. And in this delicate balance, this amazing earth during COVID, when we all had to go to our rooms for three months, it showed us, it can renew, it can regenerate the air, regenerate the waters, the animals showed up. So in this moment, we know it's not too late. So I honor you, do your own personal healing, but show up as an ally for those who aren't given a voice. The air, the waters, the animals, indigenous peoples. Be an ally for those who are not given a voice. We have a privilege of being here on this planet. We have a privilege, if you made it here, it's not a race privilege, it's not a wealth privilege, it's not a gender privilege, it is literally the privilege of having air to breathe and water to drink and food to eat and relationships and loved ones. And in that privilege, there is a responsibility. But it's not a responsibility like a heavy weight on your shoulders. It is simply the words responsibility. The ability to respond. And the ability to respond to the times where we need everyone right now. New life systems, new economic systems, new health systems. And so in this moment, if you're here at this gathering, it's not just a party. We're learning a new way to be here with medicines that are gonna help people heal. And so gratitude for coming to this sharing today really appreciate you being here and um, I feel as though you will remember what you need to remember from this really overdose of I mean I can't even look at that app I'm just like oh my god and then there's 13,000 people but only 5,000 in a room at a time so you're like offloaded to another room go with what feels really true to your heart thank you so much I feel like um, thank you